Hello everybody, Damien here, and welcome back to Dark Souls. Now, I think I'm going to travel a little ways back through Blight Town, and I'm going to try to get an armor set that is really lightweight. I might want it for later on in the game because there are certain areas in the game that I would like to have certain kinds of protection and different armors are going to protect against different things. They each have their own skill set against protecting against poison or magic or fire or lightning. All that. I always get a little offended when I'm playing games involving magic like this, and they have fire and lightning. There's never any ice. Why isn't ice a more popular magic use in video games? I mean, come on, you can freeze your enemies. You can slow them down, freeze them solid. You can impale them upon a giant icicle. Ice is the best power can be a solid weapon, or it can be used to inhabilitate your opponent, which is always an advantage, no matter what the case. I mean, you can do extra damage with anything like fire or lightning, sure, but when you slow them down, you can do anything else to them afterwards. Whoa, hello. Thank God for invisibility frames. Invincibility frames. There we go. Oh, come on. Oh, your ass. Oh, not good. Damn it! Come on! Can you give me a break here for a second? Holy crap. Oh shit, there's another one that I'm gonna lure over here. Is he coming? No? Okay, good. Oh, why didn't that count as a backstab? Okay, I got him anyway. Shut up! Oh crap. Shut up! Quit your growling. I mean, you don't attack me when you do that, but still, it's getting annoying. Okay. Oh yeah, I can sneak up on this guy too. Let's see here. Oh shit. So there are apparently some magical dragon weapons in this game, and one of them is a, like, su such as the Drake Sword, one of them is a dagger. Which I would actually really like to get, because dagger class weapons seem to do a lot of extra backstab damage. The regular dagger, the bandit's knife. Ooh, I got a large club. Oh! That's different from what you pick up those other guys, the great club. So this is the large club, and then there's, there's the great club, so it's all different stuff. I thought that they carried the great club. That was my mistake. Okay, so let's let's bolt through the area that's loaded with mosquitoes, whom I hate so very much. I wonder if that pyromancy chick is going to be sitting there this time. The NPC. Um, or is she supposed to be near the pillar by the sand over there, leading to Quelag's domain, which is wherever you're headed in, in any case. Uh, oh, the ladder. Oh, hurry up before the... Ah, oh, too late. I hate the mosquitoes. Okay. Drop. direction. Oh, 
Oh, this guy spotted me. Take him down. I just don't want to be getting chased for miles. There's probably some mosquitoes already headed my way. Okay. Here now. Oh, right. If that NPC's here, she'll be over here? No? Why isn't she showing up? She's not behind this one, is she? I don't want a chance going over there. No, I don't think so, because last time I found her, I didn't get attacked by any of those boulder wielders. So let's just... Okay, let's get rid of this poison. Okay. Now, in this area, there is a boss who is very easy to beat, actually. Which I found out by accident, and then later went back to find out what was wrong with... I thought, I thought my game messed up or something. But it did not. I wanted to... See I wanted to get as far away from the enemy as possible and see if I could find a strategy, and instead I thought he had cornered me. But he did not. Instead I found a little... Well, not a cheat, it's legitimate, I found out. It's not a glitch or anything, it's a legitimate thing. Okay, this says illusionary wall, right? Liar ahead, okay, so someone else was saying illusionary wall before. And they were lying, and this person's calling them out on it. Now this is where... I wanted to go. It is a very dangerous area. I mean, in light. Oh, I forgot all about this part, too. I want to use this bonfire. There's a hidden wall. And then this guy. Just... Oh, dear. What have we here? Are you a new servant? Yeah. Mm. But you have no eggs. Ha, no matter. Go along and have audience with our fair lady. I pray that you will mind your manners. Now, this... He takes a while to move. But this is... Looks like the same species as Quelag. It is a spider woman. I'm gonna rest the bonfire. This bonfire is already kindled once, which is an advantage. But yeah, this is the same kind of person as Quelag. She doesn't speak, but if you enter the covenant with her, she'll give you a pyromancy, I think. Yeah, great chaos fireball. Established. If you you can offer stuff to increase your covenant, but I'm not gonna bother. I just like that pyromancy. Why can't I rest the bonfire? There we go. I change covenants every time I find a new one because usually they give you something new. And building an establishment with each covenant doesn't really seem to do anything as far as I know. Anyways, this is where I wanted to go. I don't want to go here, but I want what I can get from this area. That's all that I want to be down here for, is what I can get. Now, most of these guys won't attack you, some of them will, so keep your eyes open. I'm gonna light that one, but I'm not gonna bother resting at it. Most of these guys will leave you alone if you don't get too close, but I think it's a couple down here somewhere. These guys, past this drop point, they'll start chasing you. I don't know why. Yeah, here they come. I don't think he does anything. Anyways, that fog gate over there is where I want to go. I found out that 
that this is where you can get a set of armor. I came down here and I was killing these egg guys before. Uh, not in my videos, in my personal game. And I found this fog gate, and it didn't seem to go anywhere, so I was like, it's got to be treasure. There's got to be treasure over there, and I was right. However, I also crapped my pants when I saw the boss. Which was really weird, because I saw him, and I was like, oh crap. And then he didn't attack. And I didn't know why he wasn't attacking. And then I found the treasure. And then I thought, as soon as I pick up the treasure, the boss is going to attack me, I just know it. And you'll see what happens. So, yeah. That's the boss. Really, really creepy spider type thing. Probably Quayleg's dad or something, I don't know. But in any case, he's guarding this over here. And I want this, so... I'm gonna grab it, and I'm gonna run like hell. Ceaseless Discharge, that's his name. Oh! Alright, so he's getting pissed. Just run away from him as fast as you can. Faster. Oh, I hope he doesn't hit me. Okay, so running, 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 running. I was thinking maybe I could just run and go back past him. Just avoid him altogether, and then I ran this way. And I saw that the fog gate was back up, and I thought, crap, 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 I'm gonna die. I ran over here, and I thought my best chance will be to maybe go down this narrow pathway and fire some arrows at him. Which I did. Stopped here, and then he jumped, and I panicked, and I started hitting him, and he didn't do anything. And I was like, okay. So I just kept hitting him. And eventually, after you hit him a few times. He falls to his death. You get a humanity from him, a homeward bone. Most of the lava uh, solidifies, cools, so that you can walk on it. There's still some patches, but uh, don't, don't, don't go down there, because I made that mistake, and there are tourist demons down there. So the reason I wanted that is because of this armor. Not this armor, not this armor, not this armor, not this armor. This armor, gold-hemmed armor which is quite powerful for such a light armor. And its ability to stop, or to resist poison, is the big kicker, because the, the headpiece is 36 poison resist, but the body piece is 94 resistance to poison. And then the gloves are 32, and the leggings are 78. That's why I wanted this stuff, to resist all that poison damage, because I don't think Blight Town is going to be the only place that poison is going to be a problem. I am most definitely sure that poison is going to be a problem in later areas as well. So that's what I wanted. I just wanted that armor, and that's how you get it. I mean, you could stand there and try to fight that Ceaseless Discharge guy, but I looked it up and... What I just did is a legitimate way to beat him. Oh, I don't want to get too close to these guys in case they decide to turn and attack. So, yeah, and how do how, I got like twenty thousand souls off of that guy too? So. That's a bonus. I can upgrade my character a little bit more in the intelligence area. And I'll have some money to upgrade my weaponry. I don't know what's down here. Like, there's something... Need humanity. Nice try. That's someone trying to invade. This is armor ahead. Now, this isn't... 
an illusionary wall or anything, so I don't understand that part yet. I have heard that one of the NPCs you kill could drop armor there, but I haven't been invaded. I'm like, I'm human right now, and I haven't been invaded by an NPC, so I don't know exactly how it works, and I haven't researched it yet, but... I eventually will. Let's upgrade intelligence. Once more. Yeah, may as well. That way I can use all my fancy spells. And my Estus Flask is pretty powerful now, so you know what else I can do? I can attune magic. What do I want to use? This oral decoy may be useful, especially if I want to do some backstabs. Flash Sweat, if I'm going to be facing anything with fire, will be nice, but I don't think I'm going to be doing that anytime soon. Pyronazi of Carmina, who harnessed the power of flame to actualize it in herself. Short strength, endurance boost, but lose HP. Oh, I don't want that. Don't want to lose HP. So maybe I'll just start off with using... Soul Arrow. Well, I got my bow for that, so I don't know. Maybe... Oh yeah, this Great Chaos Fireball requires two attunement slots, that's right. You know what, I'm just gonna try out this Poison Mist. Just for the hell of it. Um, I'm gonna unequip that and equip my Pyromancy Hand. There we go. Alright. And I'm just about through with this video, so I don't know where that goes. I haven't checked yet, and I don't want to know because I think it leads further into that lava area. And I do not want to deal with that. Actually, I might just come up to Quaylag here. It might, but I don't want to chance it. It's a short jaunt up the steps, so... No need. So in this case, I'm just going to travel back to Fire Lake Shrine because I'm not going to go anywhere back down here in the future episodes. I'm going to do a little bit of research and figure out where I could go. Actually, in the next video, maybe I'll try out that gate that opened up. The uh, I believe it's called Sens... Castle or something? Or send something? Anyways, I'll try out a little bit of that area. It's, I know it's really, really tough. I went in there with my other character, but I'm just trying to think if there's anywhere else I should go, but I'm going to do some research and think about where else I may want to check out, or maybe somewhere I haven't been yet. Just so it's something new for all of us, including myself. So, no, okay. She's not here now either. I don't know how to get that NPC to show up. Oh, the mosquitoes. Don't want to deal with the mosquitoes. Alright, well, anyways. I'm just making my way back up to Firelink Shrine. That's all I'm doing right now. Hurry up before the mosquitoes come. So... I'll just keep the episode running until I get to Firelight Shrine. Why not? It's, it hasn't gone that long. And who knows what'll happen along the way. Maybe... Oh! Maybe something entertaining. Oh god, why are there two of you? Okay. So, that sucked. Get out of the poison! Oh, there is an item behind an illusionary wall that I opened up in one of the previous episodes in Blight Town that is reachable, but I really don't want to go in that area right now. There's a ring that recharges stamina quickly. Whoa, I almost 
just overshot that again. Maybe, maybe you can just walk onto the platform. I bet you can. In any case. Alright. Oh, mosquitoes. Climb quickly. Don't want to deal with anything. Actually, I could probably bolt past all the enemies in this area, to be honest. Where's my ladder? There it is, I went right past it. Alright, so yeah. Uh, I'm thinking about doing a couple different kinds of videos as well to incorporate on here, just so I have more to upload. It's not the same old stuff. So I've been doing just Dark Souls for a while now, but this game is just so big, it takes up so much time that I didn't think I'd have time to do anything else, especially with my daily schedule. But... I was thinking of doing different kinds of videos that would be faster to make, quicker to watch, easier for everyone, take up less of my time, less of your time, and still be entertaining. Uh, let me know in the comments below, for those of you who are watching, uh, whether or not I should do uh, either of these ideas. There's one I wanted to... Wait, why am I fighting him? There's one, I want, uh, one idea I had where I was thinking I could just play a song. Just play a song, any random song. I'll just play a song of my choosing for the first couple of times. Maybe I'll get you guys to pick them afterwards. But just for the first couple of times, I was going to pick a song, play it, and just dance around my living room like an idiot. Just anything I can think of that comes to mind. Any, any stupid movements that I could that pop into my head while I'm listening to this music, I'll just dance like a complete fool. And I know that might sound lame as I say it, but if I do it a couple of times and it looks hilarious, you, you guys might like it. I don't know. It's just a thought. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll definitely take a look at it, at doing that. Like, that's one thing I thought of. And there's another thing I thought of where um, when I'm hanging out with friends sometimes, I do cartoon voices and uh, character impersonations from movies and stuff. If you guys would like to see me do some of that stuff, like just just dicking around, trying to be funny, trying, we'll see if I succeed. But yeah, but, uh, yeah, just that. Dancing like an idiot or doing voices and impersonations of cartoon characters and movie characters and whatnot, so let me know what you guys think about that. And I will see what I can do about it. But uh, that's all I'm going to do for this video right now. So, thank you all for watching. This is Damien signing off. I will see you all later.